time now see it's really great to be back um, I really contemplated not doing an August favorites this month simply just because once again I'm very late on this although I have been late on this the last two months I have had more joy putting it out because I feel a lot less pressure to put it out and I, I don't think people ever really get tired of watching a favorites video. I feel sometimes when they all come at you all at once in the same week, okay, that's overwhelming. So, but it's kind of nice to have some variation in your subscription boxes. That being said, perhaps you haven't seen one in a little while. I have a tendency to actually click on favorites for any month, any year, whatever, if it just kind of pops up in a recommended for me. Um, regardless of the gurus, sometimes I, that's actually a great way for me personally to discover new gurus is to watch their favorites. You get a great sense of, of who they are uh, in that favorite video. So the very first portion of my favorites, I want to share stuff that I'm no longer purchasing or supporting. We'll get that right out of the way. This was sent to me was this coach bag. My mother sells a variety of insurances. Life, uh, house and she went to a raffle she's actually gotten a lot of awards this year and she went to a raffle and they were giving out this gorgeous coach bag my mom didn't want it because it is vibrant so vibrant for her personally she's somebody who wears neutrals all the way and so she just said well this bag has a little bit of leather on it but I'm not gonna wear it I know you're not a big fan of logos I'm really not a big fan of logos I really am like this is a lot of logo for me personally <laughs> and to me this is like not orange at all this is so subtle really and I said it's a beautiful bag I'll take it and it's brand new why not this is completely brand new it still has a soft sensor in in this so somebody bought it specifically for the raffle and I, I just like I love this bag I love the inside of the bag but this definitely I want a really nice orange. I don't like carrying around just any bag. I, it has to be a nice bag because I used to buy a lot of random junk when I was in college and then I'd get attached to it and fall apart. And I buy some cheap shoes now and stuff like that because I just don't, I need some variety in my work wardrobe and I get really dirty at work. Um, but as far as stuff like this that I'm not going to be holding while I'm at work, I want it to withstand the test of time. I have two things. I have two things from Mac, and I probably got how long has it been since I showed Mac on my channel? Well, this is Cajun. This is the um, this is the magically cool liquid powder, and this kind of goes on like water. And this I've been using it up this month because the fact that I forgot about it and the fact that it is water based is why I want to use it up because when it dries out, this powder will be worthless. And I'm gonna put a little bit on and show you. And yeah, I still have these MAC brushes. They last a million years. I was kind of thinking that they would be all messed up and frayed by now. It just doesn't. Synthetic brushes are more buttery. I really adore that. And I'm looking for a really soft, cruelty free bronzer that can kind of be sort of magic cooling soft gives you that sort of soft focus sheen and I hate buying the ambient lighting powders just because there's I mean I barely even bought one in California I just thought $50 almost $50 is a lot of money for a face powder now I think that the blushes are a better deal because you don't wear the same blush every day the other favorite product I have from Mac is the Wonder Woman blush this was actually gifted to me after I went cruelty free and uh, vegan and um, I just really like this because the packaging is so cheesy and kitschy and um, this actually goes on real beautifully it only is slightly powdery since I moved the one thing that stops me from ever wanting to really buy my self Mac pro products ever again is that they don't stand they don't stand the test of time but nonetheless their products are so stiff and they harden and the pigmentation gets very dry this is one of the few products of Mac that is still really buttery and I would like to find a cruelty free and vegan kind of like duo brush like you could you probably shouldn't but you could use this kind of pink as a contour color and it'll go on real soft and gent gently genteel I never really advocate using a color as a contour color but it could look like a nice ombre if you did but those are my favorite things that I don't purchase will not support money wise 
Um, but I do think you should use things that are already obtained. My next favorite, and I want to talk about this, and it is a product that is sent to me from the internet. I think I'm only going to leave it at this one little baby product because it has made my skin supple, plumped it up, reboosted the collagen a little bit. And what I really like about that is it just makes you look softer, younger, and almost like pregnant skin, if you will. So this is not a bad product by any means. So what I really like about this is that it does reconstruct, it is an antioxidant, has a number of antioxidants in here, sea buckthorn green tea being two of them, um, has rose hip seed oil in it, vitamin C, and it's just an all around really nice anti-aging yet glowing serum. It's natural, but it also has hyaluronic acid in there which helps flip over the skin surface cells to help them rejuvenate into something fresher, younger, and that's where the anti-aging portion comes into. Now, hyaluronic acid is much, much more softer and soothing to the skin than a great deal of other acids out there. Glycolic is probably very, it's a sketchy acid. Not everyone can use it. It's very wearing and tearing. So this is a great um, serum. If you're somebody who is sensitive to using anti-aging acids in your serums, I do recommend um, alternating your serums. Um, you can always use a softer serum. Like I have this serum right here. It's like a cream serum and it's uh, the Radical Resurfacer from A Cure and it's essentially the very natural food grade, market grade, health food store grade. Also, on a side note, if you have somebody somebody with very oily skin, you can try out an anti-aging product. I highly recommend trying to drink more water and trying um, an anti-aging serum because it could fluff off a little bit of dead skin, even you out, and you absolutely need hydrants in your body so your skin doesn't produce so much oil on top. So that's another great recommendation for a variety of skin types. As far as Favorite little products, like color cosmetic products, I've really enjoyed a few things from the drugstore. I don't have the budget I had since I'm, I'm really putting more of my money into my home right now and I'm perfectly fine with that because I like to come home and be in peace. And I have never really gotten the opportunity to fully decorate a nice amount of living space such as this. Anyway, so the drugstore is my newfound destination and my newfound candy store. Anyways, aside from being able to get candy, chips, and wine there, I really do love me some Wet n Wild, and I love the Wet n Wild Color Icon Fair Trade Coffee Blush and Glow Trio. I use this almost every day, and I just think it's so pigmented and gorge. This highlighter is icy, gorgeous, creamy, fluffy, blends on like a dream. And I've never liked a pink blush, really, but this is not chalky. It may look chalky on my finger, but it's really creamy, and it was actually the blush I was wearing before I put on the MAC one. It's not orange. It's not red. It's not muddy. It's not brown. It's a creamy, smooth, milk coffee goodness. This is a gorgeous trio, and I wish I bought another one before the collection was no longer available. I'm assuming the collect this summer collection may no longer be available, but it's been a while since... Um, it took me a while to actually open this, so I haven't bought any other Wet n Wild things until... But now I want another one of those. <laughs> but anyways, I've also been loving this palette, and this is Vinyl Collection from Wet n Wild. Absolutely adore this. This has glittery champagne shades. This has a nice sort of milk toffee... Is that a flavor or a candy? <laughs> milk toffee eyeshadow in here. You can use as a neutral and blend it out. A nice sort of soft taupe, a metallic gold. Um, kind of a nice deep, kind of like an outer corner color, and then a, a nice olive color, which I don't really use a lot of that one. But this has been kind of right up my alley since I've been more into the rockabilly look, and I've been loving the rockabilly look. I really have, um, and I'm sort of trying to hone it to a creative aspect or creative side without getting it too punky. I kind of want to stay more in the realm of glam and vintage with that. Um, Last year, I tried to get out of my winged eyeliner gel eyeliner funk because my brand didn't sell it, and I got tired of people saying, what's on What's on your eyes? What's on your eyes? I want that. I want that. And you're like, we don't have it. And I, there was nothing worse than walking somebody, walking a potential customer to somebody else's counter to get your commission. So, there's nothing worse than having to do that and helping them and 
having the other salespeople person be like, you better not ring that up. And you're like, I don't really care if I ring it up or not, but I needed to help this customer. So anyways, I had to get out of the eyeliner, the winged eyeliner thing for a very long time because I just needed to work with what my brand had just so, just so that I, yeah, I mean, if I really believed in my brand, I needed to find another way, another look, so, so to speak. So anyways, um, but I just think really full, like Bardot, Bridget Bardot winged eyeliner, it's so me. I love winged eyeliner. It is my thing, and it's been my thing since I started YouTube. You are probably disgusted with the quantity of time I have spent wearing winged eyeliner. I don't know if that bothers me. <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's because I do have a natural love of pinupy, old-fashioned, and vintage things, and I wanted to be a costume designer in the past. I think it's that passion of historic art that makes me gravitate towards the swinged eyeliner look, and I like it worn in the most vintage capacity possible. Um, and I have been pretty much rocking the Becca Ultimate Cream Gel Liner in Romanesque, and this is only really a $20 pot. It doesn't dry out. It has lasted me for gosh, maybe even bought this last year. And I feel weird searching for something else, but I almost want to find a nice liquid eyeliner just because this does take some time to apply. But if you had to apply a gel eyeliner with a brush, I highly recommend the MUA Professional Brush. The only con with this is that I had to attach the ferrule to the stick with nail glue, which I've done for quite a few cheap brushes. Is that worth it? Oh yes, yes, absolutely, because the tip of this brush is amazing. And I always use bent angled liner brushes. Always. Always. You can't, I can't have enough bent angled liner brushes for my gel eyeliner. One brand I'm really liking specifically, and I will have a review out for this soon, is the Six Plush, Six, six Plush, well they are plush honey, the Six Plus Rose Gold Handle Brushes. I actually picked these out myself, and like I said, I typically will tell the brand, pick me out a color, let me know what you think you want to sell, blah, blah, pick me out a color. And I, I always have an idea in my mind of what I want to get, and then they always pick me out something else. So now this year my thing is being very specific about what I want when a company says, do you want to review something for me, right? Because I don't have a lot of money right now to buy things, and um, being able to fill my kit up with stuff that I can't afford. Um, like, I would never say yes to a product I honestly don't want to use. Like, if I didn't have this sent to me right here, my skin would be in deep crap right now. Like, I am probably the most grateful person right now to receive free products. I really, truly am. So, um, and I don't need more brushes, so to speak, but I can always use more brushes because I put on so much makeup. I would say 60% of my life, if not more, is spent thinking about makeup, putting on makeup, eat, drink. I mean, besides this year not having as much time to fill YouTube, I do eat, drink, and sleep makeup. Makeup is my world. Um, and when I'm not doing makeup, I'm doing nails. So nail polish is my world when makeup isn't my world. My whole world is revolving around color cosmetics. And you need good brushes. And I do highly recommend these six plus brushes. They come in a gorgeous case. You can pick your own handles. I'm just so grateful that, I'm thankful that I spoke up and said, I love rose gold. I want the rose gold handles. They're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, and so sturdy. And this is such a stupid vanity thing, but I love the color rose gold. It makes me happy, and I have no rose gold things anywhere. I love rose gold eyeshadow, even. I love anything that says slightly to the touch rose gold. If there's a rose gold lipstick out there, I want it now. Um, I love face products more than life itself. And if I had to recommend one foundation for you guys, I would highly recommend the Super CC from Physicians Formula. It's the Color Correction Hair Cream, and I have a review, which I will link in the bottom bar. I'll let you go ahead and look at that. And what I like about it is that it has concealer correctors in, in it. It's very thick for a thin formula, meaning it'll give you that full, beautiful look. I've had so many people come up to me and ask me, so what do you think about tinted moisturize? What do you think about CC cream and BB cream since you like full coverage? I'm not wearing full coverage, that's all you need to know. Anyways, but it gives you that full look once you're all made up, right? And that's the beauty of it. And what's weird, what's really weird, I guess, about it is that it has SPF in it. And I wasn't wearing SPF on my face before this month, but very religiously staying out of the sun. Once I started putting this on, I started getting darker, which was weird. But my skin is also clearing up. I think it's either, I think it's partially the tea talks I've been on. Um, I haven't had a cocktail in two weeks. 
been drinking a lot of water and I switched to a CC cream and I've been using this Valencia Even Glow Serum. So I think all those factors are making a big difference for my skin personally, pretty much. So anyways, moving on, this weekend I am going to be going to New Orleans. New, yeah, New Orleans, and I'm going to be dropping off um, my uh, sister-in-law, if you will, um, to a concert. I mean, my boyfriend are going to go hang out in New Orleans. We're going to pick a nice hotel. Really, my grandfather has been on dialysis for a very long time, and he is now being admitted to go on an IV unit today. So that's really on my mind because he's 93. My poodle last week left my life, unfortunately. Um, I had to leave her in California with my family members. She actually is a family dog, she's not my, solely my dog, which is why she wasn't always in all my, of, all my vlogs. But she was definitely my girl growing up. Um, and she died at 112 years old in dog years. And um, I had a lot of dreams of coming back for Christmas and running up to her or her running up to me or whatever and um, it sucks when something you're thinking about dreaming about gets ripped away from you um, so right now um, I have asked my landlord if I can break up the dog um, the dog down payment like there's a fee to put your dog a one-time fee of 300 and I asked if I can break it up into payments and she said two preferably I said okay and then so that made it more attainable for me to get a dog, which I need, I need an animal in my life, I need a pet in my life. They are, they're really soothing to be around for me. So um, right now I'm looking to go this weekend and hopefully get another one. It really does help, I think, the grieving process to bring another animal into your life, even before grieving is over. Because um, it's a selfless thing, really. You need... You need something bigger than you to, that you're not focusing on you so much. It's not about you. And especially for me, whenever I've had dogs leave my life in the past, I've cared more about their feelings than mine because it's really, it's really hard to see them get upset over losing their playmate. And I feel like animals have a closer connection with each other that we don't even realize as humans, no matter how deep our connection is with our pet as a human, because they have like a same language. So it's always been really hard for me to watch them go through that. It's harder, it's, I think it's harder for me to be selfish than it is to be selfless, if that makes any sense. I think it's like a vegan thing or some crap. But um, I really hope to get one this weekend. I'm, I've already bought myself a leash holder. This is it, it's a chalkboard. And I plan on putting the, the baggies, disposable baggies here. Leashes, excess leashes, collars, harness, whatever I want, whatever they need. I'm also going to have a travel food mug. It's going to, it's not going to be a collapsible dish. It's going to be a dish that has a ring and it has a place for food and a place for water and it all just kind of cups into each other like a thermos. And then I'll hang there and then I can take my animal with me wherever I go. Um, so it just looks like that. And it is blue. I'm looking to get a little boy most likely, but regardless if I end up with a girl, I'm still going to keep this because it's so freaking cute. Um, and it only came in this color anyway. So um, I just got, went ahead and grabbed this. And I want my my puppy to be all green, all ergonomic, all eco-friendly. So please let me know in the comments below what amazing brands you guys like in terms of food dishes. I'm looking to get a small breed dog puppy at the time. I want to know it its whole life. And whether they have are been formally abused or not, which could be the case in getting an adopted dog, um, adopt, don't shop, and um, that's my motto. And so that will be going on. And I just want to give it a better life. And I do believe in spaying and neutering your dog because we do not need to put more dogs on this earth if they cannot be taken care of by the people who are already here um, in a, in the right way. And um, also spaying and neutering it also helps it not get any prostate cancers, whatever. And so and. I would just feel terrible giving away puppies and not knowing if they're going to be taken care of in the way I want to take care of them. So that's that. Um, I'm just going to get one dog right now. Um, I work 10 to 5, but I'm very aware that I'm going to get a mix, uh, most likely, because that's what happens a lot when you adopt, and I'm okay with that. Whatever needs 
love and attention and wants me to be there forever human. So I'm hoping it comes home soon because um, it's going to be very loved. So um, I'm going to try to keep up on videos, but if I'm not feeling very good, I don't want to put one out and not have it feel natural or right, if that makes any sense. But it, it was great talking to you guys. I think sometimes getting out, of, getting coming out of your shell and going out in the real world when you're even when you're grieving, just for a couple minutes feels good. So thank you for listening to me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, and I'm gonna have a good time in New Orleans. New Orleans. I always wanted to go to New Orleans. New Orleans. See you guys next time. Bye.